I've also written on the front there to see where digital twins are born. If you're already a part of the digitalization wave, you'll know that digital twins are likely to be part of many companies' futures. And um, some of what you'll see today is how some of the models that are needed for that come into existence. Um, I'm not going to dwell because uh, there's just uh, too much to say in too little time. I want to leave five minutes at the end for Q&A. So uh, it's clear that uh, mixing and mass transfer is an important issue in bioreactors. A lot of energy is devoted to that subject. Um, but also other parts of the bioprocess have mixing sensitivities. I'll touch on a couple of those today as well. Uh, I know the diagram on the right doesn't necessarily resonate, but there is at least a shake flask present in the diagram. This is one of these cartoons that sort of tries to capture the sometimes naive understanding of scale up that exists out there. So we have kind of a mix of challenges and opportunities around mixing in, in a bioprocess. Um, some quite big words there, glycosylation, even galactosylation, sometimes aggregation of proteins. These are all things that will be familiar to people in the field. I suppose the big idea of everything we've been doing for the last 20 or so years is we are trying to help customers to align uh, and combine experiments with modeling. Um, the old saying, commit your blunders at the small scale, make your profits at the large scale, couldn't be more apt. So the idea is that you will characterize, you'll do your process characterization and other key work that, that can only be done by experimentation at small scale. You will then pair that with a modeling infrastructure that allows you to extract numbers like kinetics, yield coefficients, all kinds of uh, numbers like that that characterize your process and also get a sense of the required engineering parameters for your process. And in the bioreactor context, people talk a lot, a lot about KLA, the so-called mass transfer coefficient, mixing time, how long it takes to blend the entire contents, and power per unit volume, which is a measure of the shear transmitted to the fluid. So the idea is that by uh, pairing modeling and experimentation, you get to anticipate issues that might otherwise arise when you scale, hopefully predict that those issues will occur, determine some appropriate measures to prevent them occurring. There's also, of course, opportunities to optimize to a certain extent, and uh, all of that happening on the computer rather than in the real world. Top three items are for mixing, characterization, stir tank reactors, plug flow reactors, bioreactors. So that's where I'd get the tools from, and then I could click on the link uh, on the right-hand frame to get the tool downloaded. I've just downloaded them already to save us watching those come down. So I'm going to go into the cylindrical mixing toolbox and I'm going to, um, it's literally the way it appears when we open it. So if you're new to mixing, visit the help tab. I'm not new to mixing, so I'll just go ahead and find what I'm interested in. I am interested in batch liquid mixing, mixing time. I'm also interested in mass transfer by sparging. Um, I'm going to skip mass transfer via drawdown from the headspace for now. And right now, I'm not interested in heat transfer. So I'm just choosing from the a la carte menu here which aspects of mixing I'm interested in. Then I click the continue button, and there'll be a little bit of refreshing to provide all the dialogues I need to tackle this case. So I've got my little conceptual diagram of my solution uh, being sparged with gas there with a KLA value. I now need to choose my equipment. I'm going to choose on the left-hand side an Amber 250 bioreactor. This is coming from our built-in starter vessel database. Typically, customers replace our database with their database of equipment. Um, so I'm not expecting you to find all of your vessels in these lists. But over time, that is what you will have. I'm going to go actually to um, a particular vessel here called Sparge Vessel 1. just need to uh, get my mouse to take me down to the place where that vessel is located. And again, the information will be read in from the vessel database and will appear here. So if you can just imagine that I'm looking for a KLA of 50 per hour, and that is actually what I want, 
I can on this sheet find out what agitator speed in the amber will give me that. I think from memory it's 1190 that gives me 49.95. I also get power per unit volume and mixing time from that. I can do the same for the shake flask. I think it's about 220. No, it's a bit higher than 220. It might be 290. It's about 290 to get the same KLA in the shake flask at this particular fill level. And when I go to the rocked bag, I think I need a little bit more speed. It's going to go down to the rocking speed. Actually, a little bit less speed is what I need right now. I'll try 22. Gives me 60 for KLA. I also get my mixing times and my power per unit volumes there. Um, on these worksheets, we provide lots of extra information to explain the kind of calculations that are being done. So at a certain level now, I have equivalent in KLA terms setups at three different scales in these bioprocess uh, bioreactors. Also then in this workbook, I can look up solubilities of the CO2 and the oxygen, different temperatures. I can see the cartoon. I can continue now to my full dynamic model of the system which has the chemical components that are important in the recipe. We've used a set of data from Biogen to uh, kind of calibrate this dynamic model. And then there's a whole bunch of scenarios, including scenarios that will simulate the amber, the shake flask and the rocked bag using the mixing characteristics I've just calculated. A call to action, please try the tools. Contact us at support if you have any questions. Next public training opportunity is February 2021. That will be online due to COVID. If you want something for a bigger group of your own colleagues, get in touch with Steve or myself and uh, our support, and we'll help you out with that. Um, think about getting certified. There's a fully automated certification process. Also watch for new models where we're going to be extending out and deepening some of the capabilities here over the next uh, short period.